So ahead of your second time here, you know you know the property crowd. How are you feeling about coming back to this with the loyalty? Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're all different on this. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Last time, yeah. last time I think we were all a little a little nervous, um, yeah. and but this time we feel like we're uh, we singing to the choir a bit. You know, hopefully. Um, I'm still nervous. Oh yeah, but, yeah. Because there's a lot of people, but yeah, we're looking forward to it. I think we're. We're, yeah, we are. We're, we're keen to make an impression, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think and last time, there was a, with what we do, it takes maybe three or four songs for people who've seen us for the first time who don't know anything about the band to go, oh, right, that's what they do. So hopefully we'll have skipped that this yeah. time because they might already so, know. Yeah, I mean, not everybody that came last time will be here, but, you know, yeah, it, well, it, it helps break, yeah, so awesome. they kind of get more of an idea of what, we, what we're about before we go out, I suppose. So. Yeah, so I'm yeah. excited yeah. and nervous because it's a big stage. But that's, yeah. that's the fun of it as well. Yeah, you want to, you just want to make a good impression and you know, people to go away happy. Yeah, that's that's kind of our job. <laughs> so the ice is already a little bit broken for you, well, and it's. We hope so. Yeah, but oh, yeah. I've seen a lot of people walking around with doing the and t-shirts. That's on. good. Oh, that's a, nice. A lot in the village and a campsite everywhere. Wow. That's very reassuring. Yeah. That yeah. is. <laughs> it's really, really Mainly good. for the merch show. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I want to come on to something while I can while we've got the heat. You guys are wearing tank top. Yeah. I, I'm sure you're going to get this a lot in a lot of your interviews, but with the heat and this is a signature look, how are you? Struggling. Warm. It's, yeah. uh, to, it's warm, but it's moist under here. We suffer for uh, the thing is when we get on that stage, the sun is going to be behind the stage by that point. So um, and it's fairly well sheltered. So we'll be all right. I'm more worried for the audience actually, you know, because they're they've been sat baking in it for days. Oh, yeah. Normally I come off off stage sweaty. This will be a, a rare one when I go on stage. Sweaty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, we'll be fine. We, we were considering, we were to talk about doing tank tops only and no shirts, but that was quickly dismissed. <laughs> the, the nipple chaffing with an accordion wasn't one <laughs> we were thinking about. It's a shame, I'm sure, for many of the fans. Well, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Until they, what do they see this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you've got a new album as well. Yeah, we have. And it's uh, it's very similar to a band that, uh, <laughs> yeah, that so may have some relevance to the festival. How are you feeling about uh, about that? Well, that? so we, uh, we we put out Rock and Reef earlier on this year, uh, and it's our kind of tribute to, I suppose, a tribute to Fairport. It's uh, it's kind of a parody of, of Legion Leaf, and we we wanted to do it tastefully you know because the last thing we wanted to do was upset the band and we did ask um, I actually emailed them and, and, and said you know do you guys have any if you have any problem with it we'll not do it and they were like oh no and Richard Thompson basically said that he was he was you know pleased that we asked which was nice um, yeah. he was yeah they've all been very nice about it. I know Peggy really likes the album yeah, as well. yeah. Oh, he's on it yeah yeah, well, yeah he is on it um, Dave Maddox as well yeah, yeah yeah so yeah it it was it was nice to have them both on board um, for, for the opening track if they hadn't if, obviously we wouldn't have yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. So, so yeah. Fantastic. That's really good. That's really lovely. I, I'm like, I like that they got involved as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we, yeah they, we were blown away that they, they yeah, wanted to really. Yeah, because I mean, you know, they, they, they're them. At the end of the day, you know, they're mega. Um, yeah. And we're like a deaf comedy yeah, band, yeah. so it's, it's nice, nice to have that vindication, I suppose. Fantastic. I think my final question. I want to keep it short. Obviously, I you know quite busy. Um, when coming up with songs, I just I wanted to know. Obviously, everyone's got a different creative, you know, way of approaching it, and I, I don't want you to talk me through the in-depth. So I don't want to, you know, have to put you through all that. Um, but I, I would like to know things like Lady and Greg's, for example. Yeah. Did that just come from? There is a lady in Greg's, and she's, you know, this so could be a thing. That that actually came. Uh, I know where it was. Actually, I was at the Fitzwilliam's Arms in Elsica. Uh, it was a, a pub gig where there was me and a former member of the band, Andy Dudekin. Uh We were actually doing a, a pub show, and we used to cover um, Lady in Red, but in the style of McFly. Um, and that afternoon we started to play it and Amanda just started, my, my partner was laughing at the back of the room and we stopped and I just went, what's the funny? She went, Lady and Greg's and that, straight away we went home and we wrote it that night. Oh wow. Uh, sometimes, sometimes it does come from the punchline and other times it comes mm. from other, other places. I mean, you, you, you do a lot of that kind of thing where you... Sometimes you just, it is like that, you just mishear something. Yeah. And you get a funny line and then you think, can I build a song around, around that funny, that, that pun? That concept or whatever. Yeah. We have sometimes you can't. We have to do it the other way as well, where you think of the joke first and then find a song find to a song to, 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 to Yeah. yeah. 
Um, so there is different ways of doing it, but, but yeah. It's quite, I, we watched Martin Joseph yesterday, and he did a breakdown of one of his songs, how he writes them, and it's quite similar to how I write, is that write a load of ideas on one side of the I'm page, the same, yeah, as well, pick, yeah, funny definitely. lines where they go in the song, you know. Because if you just try and write it through, what ends up happening is you, you try and make it rhyme with the original, and that makes it less funny. You've got yeah. to break out of that yeah. and just write the gags almost separately and then slot them in yeah. where they work. That's how I do it anyway. And, uh, and I always find as well having uh, space so that people can laugh. You know, if you have every line really funny, then they're going to miss something while they're laughing at something else. So try every other line tends to work. Yeah, and you need well. to you need to have a narrative. And, and sometimes the narrative isn't funny, but it still needs to be there for the next funny bit. Right. Yeah. You know. So yeah. Fantastic. That's really interesting. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Bill. Thank you. Lovely to chat to you. It was lovely to meet you all. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Thanks yeah. very much. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Cheers.